Hey, what's going on everybody? Josh Quinones here and today I'm going to be showing you how to start a YouTube channel. Well, if your wallet pretty much looks like mine, yeah, pretty much empty. So today I'm going to show you all how to start a YouTube channel on a tight budget. Now, I've talked to a lot of people. I've read a lot of comments on other videos of people wanting to start YouTube, but feel they really can't because they don't have all this expensive equipment or have enough money to be able to go out and buy the equipment that they need. Well, I'm here to tell you, you really don't need all that if you're just trying to start up a channel from the beginning. All you need is what's in your pocket or for the ladies, what's in your purse or wherever you keep your smartphone. That is right. All you need is a smartphone to get started on YouTube. And I know pretty much everybody out there How's a smartphone? I'm sure everybody watching this video is most likely watching it on their smartphone. So this is all you need to get started. And I'm not just saying that, I'm telling you from experience, this is how this channel got started. Whatever smartphone I had at that time, I was using it to film all the videos that you see on this channel. And still to this day, what I'm filming on right now is my Galaxy S10 Plus. I use my smartphone to record everything. Every video that you see on this channel has been filmed. Not only that, but it has also been edited on a smartphone, uploaded straight to YouTube from the smartphone. All of my thumbnails, all the descriptions, every single thing that has to do with this channel was done on a smartphone. So for those of you that think you need all this expensive gear, you do not take it from me. This is all you need, especially for vloggers, probably going to be the easiest because you can pretty much just hold your phone out like that, vlog, switch the camera to the back camera, record whatever it is. You wanna record some B-roll, anything like that, and then switch it back to the front camera or you can record with the back camera like this, basically having it face you. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is what I'm doing today, vlogging my day. So when it comes to vlogging, it is pretty much going to be the easiest for you guys because all you need to do is hold your phone like that. But if you want to take it one step further, then you can go out and get one of these if you have the money for it. I think they run around 30 bucks, these little mini Joby Gorilla Pods for your smartphone. And all you do is just throw your smartphone in there and boom, you are ready to go. I still use this to this day. This was the first thing I ever bought for this channel to help me out with my videos. You can hold it like this when you're vlogging. You can bring the feet out like a little tripod to set it down on the table, however you want to use it. And the legs even bend like that if you need to wrap them around something so it stays secure. But yeah, this is all you need for you vloggers out there. And then you can edit the videos on your phone as well, which I will show you guys in a bit. I've actually made a whole dedicated video showing how to edit videos on your smartphone, which I will have linked down in the description below in case you all want to check that out. And say you want to take your vlogging to the next level or pretty much any video out that. Maybe you want more of a smoother filming experience. Maybe you want to do some cinematic stuff and maybe you have a little bit more money to spend than just being able to get one of these little tripods right here. Well, the next thing you would want to get is this little mobile stabilizer right here a mobile gimbal this is by snapa adam the dji osmo mobile 2 is also great but honestly i found myself using this one all the time i don't even use my dji anymore because look at this you're able to fold it up it can fit easily in your pocket and then it folds right open stick your phone in there and you're ready to go and say maybe you even have a little bit more money to spend maybe you want better sound quality in your videos while vlogging or doing whatever it is you are doing this actually has an input for a microphone to get some better sound quality in your video. So this is a Snapa Atom. I will link it down in the description below. I've actually done a full review on this, which I will throw down in the description below in case y'all wanna check that out after this video. Okay, so that pretty much takes care of the vloggers for now, aside from being able to edit videos on your smartphone, which I will get to in a bit, but say you want to start a different type of channel, like maybe what I do here. Maybe you wanna start reviewing tech or just reviewing other stuff, but you feel you can't because you don't have a nice office to be able to review stuff, have a nice background, or you don't have a nice desk to be able to put whatever it is you're reviewing on the desk, put the camera in front of it and talk about it. Well, I'm here to tell you, you really don't need any of that. I don't know if you can tell, but I do live in a small apartment. I don't have my own dedicated office where I do all my work. I don't have a nice desk to do anything. Although in some of my videos, it may seem like I do, but there's a little something that I do to fool you guys and make you think I am reviewing my stuff on a nice desk, which I will show you that little trick in a bit. And it costs less than a buck, but yeah. So I really don't have any of that nice background stuff. What I'll usually do for those of you who have been following me for a while, you'll notice that a lot of my videos are done 
outside. I'll find a nice place to go and shoot videos. But before I do that, what I'll do is I'll type out a voiceover whatever it is I want to talk about, about that item, what I want you guys to know, my likes, my dislikes. I'll type out a full voiceover and then I'll go find a nice spot outside, somewhere nice, and then just start shooting a bunch of B-roll. Whatever it is I'm reviewing, I'll start getting some shots to match whatever it is I typed in my voiceover, come back, throw all the footage in the video editor, put it all together, and then do my voiceover, and then cut out whatever it is I need to cut out, put it all together, and there's my video. I don't even really have to be in front of the camera like I am doing now. And that's basically how I do a lot of my videos because, like I said, I do have kids. Sometimes they're loud and running around and I can't constantly be, okay, you guys be quiet, I'm trying to shoot a video. So sometimes that is just my next option. And you know, it's been working out pretty good so far. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback about the videos that I do on this channel. And most people can't even tell that I'm doing it on a smartphone. So that's got to tell you something that the quality of the videos these smartphones put out these days are really good. People can't even tell sometimes. But okay, let me put my little setup together really quick so I can show you guys what it is I do to be able to make it look like I'm recording in an office on a nice desk. So give me one second. All right, so this is the setup right here. Look at this. I don't have any professional lighting or anything like that. I always try to film during the day so I can get that natural lighting coming in. And then this is just a cheap tripod that I actually got from my mom. She wasn't using it. She let me have it, but I think it's about 30 bucks on Amazon, which I will throw a link for down in the description below in case you want to check it out. But it is for smartphones, as you can see there. And what you see on the smartphone, you would think I'm just reviewing something on a desk. But when I pull the camera away, this is a little behind the scenes. I'm actually using this cheap white cardboard little board that I got for, I think, 30 cents at the store. So 30 cents, that's it, 30 cents. And then under it is my kid's Incredibles table. So it's not even a desk. I got this Incredibles table on the bottom of this white sheet. And then this is what you see on camera, basically fooling everybody. I'm sure nobody expected to see this right here. And if you don't have any little table like this, you could do it on your couch, basically giving you that same desk effect. And say you don't wanna use the couch or a little table, you can always do it on the floor just like this, giving it that same desk effect. I'm telling you, there is so many ways to do things and make it look nicer on camera than it actually looks behind the scenes. I've actually done it like this a lot of times for when I do my reviews and nobody has ever known, but hey, now you know my secrets. Now, one other thing that I do do when home, if I'm still trying to find a nice background to shoot whatever it is I am shooting, I will actually use my TV. What I do is I go to YouTube, find a nice scene that I like, I'll press pause and just leave it like that. So that is actually a YouTube video that you're seeing there. I just have it on pause and just using that as a nice background, whether I'm standing in front of the TV facing the camera or just having the camera face towards the TV, having the TV take up most of the frame, and then just holding whatever it is I'm reviewing right in front of the camera. As you can see, got my tripod set up right here with the phone in it, and this is just another trick, another thing that you can do to give yourself a nice background when shooting video. All right, now let's talk about filming video at night because that is probably one of the hardest things to do if you don't have good lighting at all because Shooting in low light situations, the quality is never going to be as good as if your lighting is good or shooting during the daytime. So there is certain tricks that you can do here and there to make it look like you do have good lighting, especially if you don't wanna go out and spend the money on any special LED lights or anything like that. Like for me, I don't have any special lighting, any professional lighting or anything like that. So I basically work with what I got here at home. Now, obviously it's going to be different for everybody depending on your lighting situation at home. Some of us do have really good lighting and some of us don't. Like for myself, I really don't. So I try to make it work. Now let me show you a little trick that I do. All right, so I went ahead and shut the blinds to give it more of a darker feel in here. Now it does look a little bright in here, but that is because I do have these lights in the background turned on right now. All I have is that light, that light, and then that little light up there. Now I usually don't like to film under those lights because they give off more of a yellowish effect, but I do like to have them in the background. What I use for my main light 
is my TV. What I do is try to find the brightest screen I can, turn the brightness all the way up. As you can see, this is more of a white color, so it's really gonna bring out the brightness in the TV. Turn the brightness all the way up, and then have my little setup right here in front. As you can see, it lights it up almost just about right. Good enough to be able to make a video, and that's basically my lighting setup for my nighttime videos. And if you go back and watch some of my videos, you'll notice the lighting is like this. That is because I am shooting at night. Or if I'm reviewing a phone, you'll notice the time is 10 p.m., 11 p.m. sometimes. And this is the setup right here that I'm using to make those videos. Okay, so I'm actually using that low lighting setup right now. And I'm gonna show you real quick how I edit my videos on my phone. Like I said, I will leave the official video that I made down in the description below so you guys can check out step-by-step -step on how to actually edit the videos on your phone but what i use is this app called power director let me go right into it let it load up here as you can see i got a lot of videos already uh, made let me go ahead and go into this video edit project and this is what i use to edit my videos and in this video i'm actually using this low light setting and i'm actually using a flashlight back here to kind of give that effect i forgot to show you guys that but this little lighting effect you see back here is basically just a flashlight quite a, a bit away at the edge of the table, giving it that effect. So that's how I did that. And this is basically how I edit my videos using this app right here. If I wanna add music, you can add music, you can add pictures, or you can do overlays. You can overlay images on top of your video. You can overlay another video on top of your video or text or stickers. So this is the editing app that I use, Power Director, and it's been working out great. I actually really like it. and. It, to me, editing videos on your phone is just so convenient because you can edit anywhere. You don't have to be stuck at home. You can be out having lunch. Maybe you have a little bit of downtime. You can edit some of your video, then edit the rest when you get home. Just stuff like that. It just To me, it's really convenient to be able to edit videos on your smartphone. All right, so there it is. As you can see, even me, I am still making videos on a budget. I don't have any of this expensive equipment that you probably would think that I have to shoot my videos like I I said all you need is what's in your pocket your smartphone even Casey Neistat himself said that the best camera you can have is whatever camera is in your pocket and that for most of us that is our smartphone so I hope this video was able to help somebody out like I said whatever you saw in this video I will have links for all that down in the description below and if you really want to know how to edit videos on your smartphone I will have that video linked down in the description below as well but I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments sections below. Let me know what y'all thought of this video. If there's something that maybe I overlooked or I didn't talk about, let me know and I will make sure to try my best to respond to each and every one of you. I really hope this video helped out. And if you're starting your YouTube channel, let me know how it's going for you as well. And if you are going to use any of these steps that I talked about, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. You leave a huge thumbs up on this video if you did like it and find it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.